welcome back to Frappe School. I am Lynette Sheridan and this is the last chapter in our sales management course. Today, we will be discussing sales reports. By the end of this chapter, we will understand the importance of having various reports to analyze trends and forecast the process of estimating future revenue. Since we have set up all of the sales operations for Star Electronics, sales reports become essential while reviewing and improving an organization's sales process. Having access to sales transactions locked over a long period of time will help us analyze various sales trends. These insights enable us to make the changes to our sales processes internally and change the products and services we offer to our customers. Analyzing various sales reports like quotation trends also help an organization's inventory and production teams gain insights into potential incoming orders. Let's now have a look at some of the important sales reports in ERP Next. To view reports in the sales module, we can navigate from home to the selling module, then scroll down to the key reports and other reports. The first report will show a sales order analysis. We can find it under the key report section in the selling module. It is an all-inclusive report with a graph showing the money that has been billed and the amount left to be billed. This report shows the total quantity of the order delivered quantity and quantity to deliver. It also contains information about the total order amount, build amount and pending amount. We can filter this report by date range, status and specific sales order. Next, we will take a look at the sales order trends report. We can find this under the key report section. We can view this report monthly, quarterly, half-yearly or even yearly. Then, we can choose to view this report by item, item group, customer, customer group, territory or even by project. The graph and report will change accordingly. We can also choose to group and report by item or by customer. Since the default report is shown monthly and item-wise, here, in the report, we can see that the graph shows the monthly sales and the report shows monthly trends per quantity ordered and sales amount with the total value for the year. This report shows us trends in the quotations we have sent to our potential customers. We can view this report monthly, quarterly, half-yearly or yearly and by item or customer. In the report, we can see the quantity of each item stated month-wise. This is if we choose to view monthly and by item. If we choose to view quarterly by the customer, then we can see a quarter-wise report of quotations sent to each customer along with the total ordered quantity and total amount. The graph will show the amount quoted each quarter. Moving on, let's explore the Customer Acquisition and Loyalty Report. This report shows us statistics about new and returning customers and helps visualize customer loyalty. The report shows the number of new customers and the number of repeat customers and their respective revenues. We can filter this report by viewing it monthly or even by territory and selecting a date range for the results as well. Next, we will explore the Salesperson-wise Transaction Summary Report. We can find this report in the Key Report section. This report shows the total amount of sales made by salespersons in the organization. This report can be filtered and shown based on sales orders, delivery notes or sales invoices and even by salesperson, item group, brand, customer and territory. 
The table shows details about the sales transactions, salesperson and the total order amount. The next report will show us an item wise sales history. As we can see, this graph shows the sales order amount per item. We can select the date range for which we want statistics to be shown. The report also contains information about the item, item group, quantity, rate, a sales order for the items, customer name, group, territory, delivered quantity, and the build amount. Moving on to the next report. Let's explore the Customer Credit Balance report. Whenever we add a new customer to our system, we have the option of adding a credit limit for them. This report helps show analytics and balances for the credit limit set. As we can see here, the report shows us the credit limit, the outstanding amount and the credit balance for each customer listed. In the next report, we will see customers without any sales transaction report. Here, we can see a list of all the customers against whom no sales order and sales invoices were created. This may need the attention of sales managers to check why no sales transactions were made after creating the customer record. The territory and customer group of these customers is also listed. The next report will show us the Sales Partners Commission. We can find this report under the Other Reports section. This report shows us Sales Partner Commission data for each sales order. The table will show the sales partner, the invoiced amount, the amount eligible for commission, the total received commission along with the commission percentage for the sales partner. Next, we will look at the salesperson target variance based on item group report. This report essentially shows the difference between targets set for each salesperson and the targets that they have fulfilled. The difference is shown as the variance. Here, we can see the report shown by the salesperson divided by item group and the target set for each month versus the target achieved for each month and the variance. At the end of the report, it shows the total difference between the target of the year and how much was actually fulfilled. The next report we'll explore is the sales partner target variance based on item group. Like the salesperson target variance report, this report shows the sales target set for each sales partner item group wise and next to it how much of that target was achieved. At the end of the report, it shows the total difference between the target of the year and how much was actually fulfilled. This brings us to the end of our sales management course. I hope this chapter helped you understand more about reports in the selling module and how we can view and manage them in ERP Next. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. Thank you.